Hi guys, I'm here to cut the two soaps I made last week, the beautiful Amber Romance type and the Barbershop. And uh, here's the Amber Romance, I'm going to do this one first. And it's really nice because the corners are even, this formula works. It's a little dented there, but that's okay. The white actually is starting to discolor a little bit. Um, little air pockets in this one to be expected. My stick blender does sometimes give air pockets, but the top is really really pretty sparkle sparkle beautiful sparkle and I'm okay with the fact that the white discolored um, I swirled it so it just means that the that that's where the um, set meant its way to and I did already cut the end off so there's the pretty pretty swirl all right let's go ahead and get started I'm going to take the corners off with the blade here. And you know, I want to get one of the um, vegetable peelers where the blade, instead of being this way, like it, like it is, it goes this way. I think it'd be easier on my wrist. Now, my grocery store used to have those, and they don't anymore. And I don't know if there's a special name for them, but if anybody knows where I can get that other kind of blade um, vegetable peeler, let me know, because I really want one. I think I'm actually going to leave the edges on the top alone for now. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the first one. Well, there's the first one. The swirl is really pretty. This one I did with the hanger swirl and the back and forth and the figure eight. And so it got a really pretty romantic swirl in there, which is perfect for Amber Romance. <laughs> Oof. That's a nice firm cut. I was a little worried that it would not cut right but it seems like that's okay and there's the inside where it's lighter you can kind of see where it's starting to discolor now it smells really good now this one seems to have a little bit more of a earthier smell than I remember amber romance having but oh well that's okay it still smells pretty good You know, maybe I'll start leaving my loaves out a whole week to cure for a week before I, before I, uh, well, that sounds really nice, it's like a butterfly in there. Before I cut them, normally I cut them in about two or three days, but it seems like this is a lot firmer and my soap's not sliding around, so maybe I just need to let them cure longer before I cut them. I'm very happy with how this came out. This is so pretty. A little bit of an air pocket there. And the top is sparkle, sparkle. I think this is a really nice design for Amber Romance. What do you think? I just think it's pretty. Of course, these aren't cleaned up yet, so I'll need to give them probably... I usually wait about three weeks before I start planing them and see if that's enough time. Sometimes it even takes four weeks before they're ready to plane. This is the no palm formula, and these ones take a little bit longer to cure. I'm not sure why. It's probably because there's no palm oil in it. Let go. There we go. I really, really, really want a cutter. Very pretty. See, it's still sliding a little bit, and with the cutter, like a real soap cutter, I think I'll have less problems. Ooh, that's a pretty one. See, it's so delicate. You can see the hooks from the mantra type and the different directions from going back and forth with the hanger. It's super pretty. Okay. So on this, I'm going to turn you around. And show you this one. Oh, that's the end on this one. Okay, I thought I started on the end. Duh, hello. This one is really nice. It looks like on this side, I don't know if you can see right in here. It looks like it has a little bit of crackle, but it does, and it's just from where the, the uncolored part went through. Let's
Hold on. There we go. And that's the last piece of the end. Ta da! Very pretty. And then. That's the end piece. And the end. So on this piece, you can see the discoloration more. But I mean, that's okay because I did swirl it so much. If you didn't watch the making video, I went through this like 20 times. So that's to be expected. And it's just very nice. Probably, um, I don't think I'll use vanilla stabilizer in this one ever. I'm okay with the discoloration in that. Okay. So the next one is the barbershop one. This is the one that you guys oohed and awed over because of the pretty blue. The lighting in here is baloney. But that looks like a pretty true color. It's a very light blue with just a tiny touch of green. And yes, you guys know I already cut one end off of this because of me posting the picture of the end cut last night. But I'm still going to tease you and start with this side. So let's see if I do... Let's see, okay, let's do it like this. Come this way first. So now my arm all bit in a funky angle to cut this. This is definitely why I want the other other kind of vegetable peeler. But yeah, I have found that cutting the edges off of the loaves before I cut them makes them easier to hold on to and easier to plane. I don't usually have to go back. I don't usually have to go back and recut them or rebevel them, I guess I should say. Okay. Looks good. Let's try this edge mm, one more time. This one's a little tricky because it's got the pile on that side. Okay, let's cut the end piece off and see what we got. Well, I already know and it's very pretty. Ta-da! And ta-da! That's the end piece. So the reason I had wanted this to be a flat top, which I'll show you the reason after I cut this piece. So I'll cut this one first. Huh. Look how pretty that is. And the top is nice and creamy. And the top came out so nicely, I'm going to keep it. But the reason I had wanted it to be square was because I wanted the hanger swirl to be in here like that. And this is a really beautiful men's bar. Yesterday I cut the end off and I took it to my dad. And my dad's like, that's amazing. That would make an amazing shaving soap. Which is actually what the scent that I used in this one was intended for. But I still haven't gotten around to formulating a shaving soap. So, I just used it in this one. I like the back and forth of the hanger, but I definitely just think it'd be more dramatic if it were like that or like that. Let's see, now this one's a little bit spotty. It's from the oatmeal. Sorry, my camera shut off. I was starting to say that those of you who get speckle-free soaps when you add oatmeal, you guys have special soap-making voodoo skills because that's beyond me. So. Number three. Ta-da! These are really big, chunky pieces of soap. One, two, three, four, five, 
And the last one's going to be short. I don't know how you can use the same lines every time and not get the same size soaps every time. That's just weird to me. Cut this one a little, a little shorter. Ouch. Really pretty. This looks like fire. Jada told me that this looks like one of my lemongrass soap this way. She's like, that looks like liquid fire. Okay. And that one. Oh, that one's cool. Look at all the detail on that one. That one's pretty rad. And the last piece. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will be back soon with some more videos. If you haven't done so yet, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I always like meeting new people and learning new stuff. So um, go ahead and leave a message, and I hope to hear from you. Bye!